Make pizza sauce. In these times of economic hardship, going back to making things from scratch can be an effective way to stretch your budget. Pizza is an American all-time favorite. Who doesn't like to eat pizza at least once a week? Pizza sauce is a very important ingredient to making pizza. It can tantalize or sour your family's taste buds. Pizza sauce can be made from canned tomatoes, tomato paste, or tomato sauce. Or if you are really ambitious, from real tomatoes. Here's how to make pizza sauce from any one of the canned tomato variety. You will need a few items before you begin. Saucepan, stirring utensil your choice of canned tomato product, salt, oregano, basil, or Italian seasoning, garlic, sugar and water. Pour the contents of your can into your saucepan. For the purpose of this article we will use an 8 ounces can. For a 6 ounces can of tomato paste, add 3 cans of water stirring until all the lumps are out. For diced tomatoes, you can puree them in your blender to make a sauce or leave them diced. Drain the liquid off and add them to your sauce for a chunky or pizza sauce. Now every seasoned cook knows that seasonings do not have to be measured. They are added according to taste. Shake a little, taste. Shake a little, taste, until it satisfies your taste buds and tastes like pizza sauce you would enjoy eating. However, that simply overwhelms new cooks. Therefore, measurements will be added so new cooks feel confident at the end of their pizza sauce making experience once you have your tomato product in your saucepan start pouring in your seasonings one teaspoon of basil and oregano or just one tablespoon of italian seasoning then add one half teaspoons of garlic and two tablespoons of sugar or more if you have a sweet tooth. Stir over low heat until it just starts to boil. Voila! Your pizza sauce is ready to put into a jar or plastic container for short refrigerator storage. Or better yet right onto your pizza crust. Pizza sauce can be frozen, however, it tends to become less thick due to the extra water upon thawing, meaning you will need to make your sauce thicker if you intend on freezing it. This recipe may be doubled or tripled according to your need. Note, if you're using real tomatoes, there is a bit of a different process, more than the scope of this article can cover.